All right, so you guys pretty much know how this works at this point. It is time again for Scrapyard Wars, but we're throwing a wrench into the rules once more. We're gonna have a bigger budget, $900 per team, and because that gives us enough money to build something that not only performs well, but also looks good, we've brought in BS Mods, professional computer modders extraordinaire to lend both me and Luke a hand. So a welcome to our guests, Bob and Rod, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it's day two. We're getting started a little late because the camera people <laughs> slept in or got stuck at the auto shop. Both of them, go figure. Um, but it's okay because this only sets back our plan to finish an entire day early by about an hour. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. My biggest concern going into today was that we would not find hardware because there was pretty much nothing out there and we got almost no replies on the messages that we sent out midway through and towards the end of the day yesterday. So there's a couple things that came through this morning. I actually heard from two GTX 780s. One of them sort of disqualified himself. Um, what's your best offer? Will it be in one of your videos? Oh, <laughs> yeah, so he knows what's up. Yeah. The other guy says, yup, I can do that. Also, are you Linus from Linus Tech Tips? Oh. So I'm gonna take that one because he doesn't actually know. Right. And he said, yup, I can do that first. We had contacted a guy who had it and uh, unfortunately he recognized Linus right away and blew the whole deal because the rule is that um, he can't use any kind of influence to make a deal, make a purchase, whatever. And so technically, as soon as the guy figures out it's Linus, you know, it's kind of against the rules. So far, I think we're doing a grand total of okay. Um, I think we have a pretty interesting theme, although we don't have enough stuff for that theme currently. Um, but we have some leads, which might work out. Uh, we have a whole bunch of hardware leads, which seems to be pretty good. But then I don't really know what the actual hardware target is this time around because it's a very flexible budget and there's two different things that you're going for. And then like the, the availability of parts right now is shit. And things are really expensive because the Canadian dollar is shit. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. We are going to Max Traders. Max Traders is a uh, scrapyard place, like family owned thing that said that we might be able to pick some, uh, pick some stuff out of their yard. So we're gonna go check them out first. So we're uh, after some hopefully rusty bits that will fit in with like the uh, iron that we got yesterday and the burlap and stuff that maybe already has a patina that we won't have to uh, paint or uh, change at all. Stuff ready to go. Yeah, the, uh, the main computer that we're looking at, um, which is a i7-860 machine uh, with eight gigs of RAM. Um, they want 285 for it. We asked them for 260. They said no, so we asked him what they could do, and he said, can't do much, so we'll probably give him an offer like maybe 275 and see if he'll do that, just to try to get us an extra 10 bucks for more aesthetic work or a better SSD. Stuff, cool old bit in this engine I think up I there. see some rust in there. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. So we're at Max Traders. Uh, this is a place kind of near where I grew up, so I knew about it. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff here. Hopefully it works out. We gotta go walk around and uh, price some things out, try to stay out of the worker's way. So hopefully this goes well. Remember copper stuff is gonna be worth more. This stuff looks super cool. But like, just to like have it on there, it could look pretty damn cool. That it's looks great. awesome. Heavy is gonna cost right. more probably. Here's a small, like, a motor. That was pretty amazing. Um, it was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted bins of junk. And uh, we're able to dig through those bins and uh, find some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. It's like a motor looking thing. Big alternator? That's yeah. kinda. I mean, like, I'm not sure if you need the whole, I don't know if we have enough space in that case, but if you had just the front pulley part, that's what I was kind of even looking at these guys, like, okay, put yeah. two of these on a shaft and put a belt on them, you get the impression of like a motor without like the tons of space. Yeah, I hear you. So, 
There's two matching ones there and there. That have a bracket. Yeah, I almost wonder, like a, a rubber belt almost seems a little bit out of place, but a piece of metal chain going around it and this like on the back. Off, off a little bit. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. We can find a piece of metal chain. That would be pretty cool looking. There's another piston. That one's busted, but these, these look good. These pistons say Mad Max. There you go. These are perfect. That's freaking sick. Two Chevy V8 pistons. That made me a lot more confident in the theme. Yeah. I was a little bit worried about it. My biggest concern going into day two was getting anything to match the theme at all, because that wasn't really going very well so far. And I think we conquered that, so that's good. It's a, it's a critical item. So this is just garbage bin, but these are uh, water lines that they've cut the brass fittings off of. So it's pretty much just a stainless steel line that's garbage and it'll work perfect for sleeving. I was thinking like smokestacks at the top or something. Yeah, we've got that grate that's gonna take up a huge portion that's of the top. That's a good point, that's a good point. But, so maybe slightly smaller diameter? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's pretty big, but it's pretty cool. You can't find this gauge uh, anywhere easy. It's for AC kilovolts, so 1,000 volt scale. So something you would use to measure the voltage incoming to like a transformer before it hits your house power only down at 110 volts or so. Megawatts, million watts, multiple households worth of electricity. So power plants maybe produce somewhere, a big power plant that powers an entire city produces maybe 150 megawatts. So. This is badass. <laughs> you just buy these at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna buy a bunch of them. What are you using them for? Uh, we're doing a weird art project thing. We're trying to make a computer that looks kind of Mad Maxi. Oh, cool, yeah, I know this part. Sick. We'll get more. Awesome. Yeah, that one's got gas in it, so just make sure it's, that you have the, the yeah. off. Yeah, the yeah. Going off in your car. Yeah, good call, thank Great. you. I appreciate that. Awesome, cool. <laughs> so we got these for free. Oh my god. Sweet. So that's that's forty-five dollars worth of tips. Yeah. You got that? The manager's not super happy yeah. about our deal. Oh no. The thrift stores on the first day were pretty rough, but Max was actually pretty awesome. I was hoping for a lot from Max. I've been there a few times and seen some pretty epic things that would have been awesome, but their inventory is rapidly rotating because they just salvage, scavenge, and get rid of everything that they have all the time. That's kind of their whole business, so you never really know what to expect there, but I was very happy with Max. So okay. we are able to get the 780 for 300. So what that means is if we meet up with the guy with the CPU motherboard and RAM for 500 right away, we spend 300 on a 780, that gives you $32.75 to finish your mod. <laughs> oh my God, $32? Well, almost 33. Canadian? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, what do you even still need though? Uh, we need a little bit of hardware, just okay. some, just some like, you know, small, small uh, bolts. And okay. um, really not a lot. So <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm saying it, but we might be fine with that. Okay, I also kind of need a CPU cooler. So how much more of oh. that can you give me? Oh my God, okay. Um, I can ask CPU motherboard guy. Cause we- Yeah, if we can get one for like 10 bucks. I just realized- I think we're okay. We talked to him already about not needing the video card and not needing the hard drive, but we don't need the case. Right, we don't need a case at all anymore. Why don't we ask him, because this guy's got more than and one And he system. could sell the case for maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Yeah. You know what, so why don't we start by seeing if we can get a CPU cooler instead of a case. Right. And then go from there. Also, do we still need paint? Did you bring some? I brought some, and I think I have enough for what we're gonna do. Okay, why don't we go have a look? Okay. Okay, okay, let's go check that first before we, before we move any further. Scrapyard Wars will return after this message from our sponsor. This episode of Scrapyard Wars is brought to you by Dbrand, makers of the precision cut vinyl skins that you see on the phones and laptops of the contestants. They may not be bulletproof, but they look really cool. 
Try out their configurator at dbrand.com, linked in the video description. We've got everything. We've got reds, we've got yellow, blue, green, gold. Our motherboard is blue. Everything you can think of. We have blue. It's that awful, it's that awful light blue that Asus was doing in the P67 days. Do you remember that? That yeah, stupid powder blue? Yeah, we can, uh... What kind of blues you got? Okay, so we have all kinds of blues. We have dark blue, light blue. It's kind of a light um, blue. Yeah, and it'll be a little bit different when we mix them up. Some of these are candy, some of these are sparklescent, pearlescent, all kinds of stuff. And we can mix and match, cool. too. So, you know, we can take any of these colors and apply your basic formulas and we can make any custom color we want. If oh, we want to make a lighter blue, we can just add some white. Hi, this is Linus calling. I was going to pick up the uh, the CPU combo yesterday and I know I'm calling a little late. Um, do you mind if I head out there now? If I don't need the case, are you able to take off like another 20 bucks? Yeah, no, I don't. Well, I can waste my time doing that, yeah. Uh, I can do it. Yeah, you know what, I don't want to be stuck in the case. I mean, I work in computers too, and I know you do as well. Um, yeah, I just don't think that's the case that I may not film for a long time. Uh, I see. Uh, well, what was it, like a 300, a 300 or something like that? The case, yeah, it's an Aztec 1 or Aztec 300, so the same one that's in the picture. Okay, okay. Um, so for me to rip it all apart, it's, you know, already pulling out the hard drive, and pulling out the uh, video card and stuff. And, I don't really want to around with that aspect at all. Yeah, this guy was cheaper than the other guy. The, the guy with the reference card was the one who was like, OMG, is it going to be in a video? Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Blue of Forest right there. I mean, Strix cards look pretty good. But... And I can change this red right here. I can change that to the same color as this stuff. Sure. So that's not a big deal as far as painting and stuff. And I can actually, I can paint the whole thing silver and then paint these blue to match. So it tricks out the car. Okay. So we're good there. Okay, so we're still good, but the budget is not looking good right oh. now. This guy wants 40 bucks for an Evo 212. What? Oh, there's Oh some. yeah, look at, these are all stock. That's all stock. Wait, is that an Arctic cooling logo I saw in that last picture? 53 minutes, this place is not close. Wow, no kidding. Yeah but I don't think we have much of a choice. We really haven't found anything better. Every time I come to Canada though, I do like it. It's just something about it. It just seems really cool. And people are really, I don't know, they seem pretty genuine and pretty cool. Running around downtown Vancouver and seeing how many uh, uh, hot women are running around on the streets actually. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the build, but that was uh, definitely a surprise for me. Seems like it could be on this floor. Check out this analog elevator, it's awesome. What? Oh my god, that is crazy. I'm Linus, this is Bob. Okay. All right, show us yeah. what you got. Which way are we going? Yeah, it's right here. Huh, that's awesome. So what okay. was, how much was it? It was 100 bucks off, right? So, uh, yeah, which was, was what? 95 yeah. you want me is to pull there, up? Is there any way you would go to, to I mean, if I pull the wires, 75? I'm not willing to pay asking price and things like that. And, um, you know, there's a little bit of negotiation involved. For the five bucks, I don't care. DVD writers, I pay five bucks for as well. So to me, it's all non existent stuff. Can know? we do 485? Every little bit helps. If you want to pull it out, sure. Yes. I don't okay. Know. I mean, we're, we're that tight on the budget okay. that we like. Uh, every dollar is like critical at this point. In case I don't want to do, but if you want to pull the That's fine. Writer, okay. And, uh, like this, so that's fine. I went and I left my stupid screwdriver in the car. Do you... worry, Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So that was a brilliant stroke of negotiation getting that extra 10 bucks. Because that 10 bucks could be the difference between having a heat sink and being able to afford our video card and not. So we actually did really well here. We paid 485, and we got ourselves uh, a 2600. Uh, we got ourselves. It looks like yeah, that's uh, eight gigs of uh, yeah, it's a four by two gig kit. But it's got a heat spreader on it, so we can paint that. We can work with that. We got ourselves an overclocking capable motherboard. We got a decent power supply. CX600 is not a fantastic power supply, but it's decent, and it's sleeved, not very nicely but it's sleeved. And we got a 250 gig SSD, which while not really necessary to win, 
um, you know, maybe we can maybe we can position it sort of prominently in our system to, to get the judges to recognize we have like a really good SSD or something. I can help. Um, I'm not that impressed with the fans. No, they're just basic. I mean, we've got, you know, we just got basic black fans. We've got 140 mil. We, we could use another 120 mil, but we would prefer another one with some blue LEDs. However, we did get uh, exactly three of uh, those which we needed. So those will fit and uh, okay. will look good enough. I'm still okay spending the 20 bucks on yeah. that Cooler Master. It's not really eye-catching, you know? I don't see why we can't return wanna, our money. Do you want to post it I was it just going to get some pictures and we'll just post it on Do you want to post it on Craigslist yeah, for like 10 absolutely. bucks? 10? Why don't we do 20 this? 20 bucks. Let's say 20 bucks delivered. That's a good case for 20 bucks. Let's say 20 bucks delivered. I just heard back from 780 guy. He says, sorry for the delayed reply, but I'm busy later today and can only meet Thursday. You should follow other leads if you have it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm just gonna beg. Should I throw in the 10 bucks we just got? Like, should I, I don't, I don't know. Well, you know what, I'll just, I'll just beg first. Um, any, uh, I'm just gonna say I have a car and I can come anywhere. Um, I'm gonna fix my spelling. People, people like it better when you can spell. Okay, I've got a guy with, uh, I've got a guy with an R9 390. But his original post is asking um, 400, and this is like new in box. It's brand new from RMA. I don't know how much he's going to move. Uh, what can we offer this guy? He's he's given me a number to call, so I can call him now. Yeah. I'm just going to turn off the turn off the engine here. So right now I had 300 allocated for the GTX 780, and I had 20 allocated for a cooler and I had given you $22 for the rest of your modding supplies. So if we can dress up our cooler, we can save that money. Okay, but then we can't, we pretty much can't overclock a 2600. I actually don't even know if it's a 2600K or a 2600. Cause if that's a K, 2500K with a decent cooler is gonna overclock enough to make a big difference if we can spend the 20 bucks on the cooler. It is a 2500K. It is an overclockable chip. How about this? Let's give ourselves, give me, can I have 10 bucks to find a cooler? You think I can get a cooler for 10 bucks? Yeah. Okay. So, so um, then we offer this guy 330, 330 for the, uh, for the R9 390. I mean, it's definitely, we gotta have it. We're kinda, what's he asking? He's asking 400. Yeah. And like you and I know the 390 is just a 290 with some more RAM. Yeah. Well, if we say like cash money right now, we're down the street, you know. Maybe. Yeah. That gives you $2.75 for the rest of the mod. So that's enough to basically buy a couple like pieces of metal to cover those holes in the panel. That's what we're looking at here. Oh, actually, all I'm gonna be getting is nuts and bolts. I have nuts and bolts. You want, I can beg for change. Can we beg for change on this challenge? I'm not sure. Dude, you've seen I'm not afraid to ask for a discount. So I'm, I'm. <laughs> if I have to stand on a street corner with a cup saying, you know, Scrapyard Wars, please help, whatever. I need a GTX 780 yes, or you know, R9290. Not gonna lie, uh, need a GTX, you know, whatever. No, I'm not homeless. Yes, I am desperate. Please help. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm calling about the R9 390. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, hold on, just one second. Um, yeah, yeah, this is Linus. Um, so I am in a bit of a bind in terms of how much I have to spend on this. I had a GTX 780 lined up. Um, and that guy just completely bailed on me and now I'm really stuck. Would you be able to do 325? 325? I can come right now. I thought that 390 deal was done until the guy opened his mouth and goes, I'm just, I'm just wondering, uh, uh, it sounds like you, uh, you're uh, Linus from uh, Linus uh, Tech Tips, right? And you're doing a scrap, a scrap yard wars? Devastated. I was devastated. Oh great. Now I can't now I can't buy from you. Oh why? 
because uh, it's against the rules. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he sounded really familiar, and then, yeah. Okay. Well, hi. <laughs> Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, well, thanks anyway. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. Fortunately, Bob had a great idea. Okay, what's what's the ruling? What if I call him and ask him the same question? He isn't going to know me. That's true. Um, how do we get you to call him? Can we find like a payphone? I can't use my influence. Right. And he has no knowledge of me whatsoever. That's true. He doesn't know that I'm doing the Scrapyard Wars with you. He doesn't know my name. He doesn't know anything. I'm Joe Blow, just like anybody else that would call him. Hey, can, can I use are... his phone? Oh, that seems okay. Yeah, Brandon, Bob needs to borrow your phone. I really hope put the porn away. I really hope he doesn't put two and two together here. Hey, um, I'm calling about that 390 that you have for sale. Would you be able to go down to like 325? Uh, would uh, 350 be okay? 325 is quite a bit lower than 400. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to work with like your absolute budget. It kind of is. I mean, I guess if I if I if I pinched, I could probably add like another ten bucks, so I could probably uh, squeeze three thirty-five. Do you do you have uh, well, any need honest, for? A, I, I, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Well, do you have any need for like? Do you do computer stuff? We have like an Antec case that's pretty cool that could maybe throw in or something to help soften it up a little bit. Uh, I don't personally need it. The okay. thing is, uh, if you do need it right now, yeah. um, I'm in Toronto. My, I'm just doing this, uh, this is my card, but my brother's in Vancouver, Burnaby. And he won't get home until 7 o'clock p.m. Tonight? He's probably still, yeah, tonight. Could we, could we meet up, uh, tomorrow morning? Uh, no, well, he can meet you up today, uh, at 7. I just, I just gave him a text. He said he'll be available to show you, let you test it out, or do whatever you like with it. Okay. Um, so today it's fine. Just letting you know uh, that it would be later. Be... So, um, so what do you think on that price? I mean, would, do you think we would be able to do the three twenty-five? It would. I mean, I know you don't know me, but it would certainly, certainly help me out. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, you could put in another. You think you could put in another ten? Yeah, that's the last I got. I won't be able to eat or anything, but I'll 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 do it. Hold on, I can't hear. I'm kind of busy. Can I? Can you call me back in like five minutes? I'm almost. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. Definitely. I just can't hear anything. Right okay. Now. Okay. I'll definitely call back. Thank you. Okay. And my name is Bob. Down to the freaking wire. Why is it always down to the wire? Hi. Hey, it's Bob again. You got a, you in a good place now where you can talk? Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, about that, uh, I actually just got an email reply from another guy who was, uh, wanted to buy my card. He didn't say he, he it sounded like he didn't ask about bargaining or anything, but, uh, do you mind if I wait for his reply? <laughs> um... Man, I wish you'd find it in your heart to just hopefully go along with the 335. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, I'm working on a project and it's like, I just really yeah, need it. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so you just want to hear if they're going to, okay. Um, yeah, if he was going to give me 400, I, I mean, I'd rather take that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I'll give him like uh, an hour. Okay, so if you don't hear back in one hour, do we have a deal for the 335? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll give it to you. Awesome, man. You are awesome. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm looking at a 6990 that I found. Um, it's only $200, and uh, so now I want to tap into some benchmarks, especially at 1440p, since it may have uh, limited VRAM. Um, 
and see if maybe that's an opportunity. It's it's actually really inexpensive compared to what other cards we're looking at right now. So we just got two cases for free. They've actually got some components in it. So this one has a motherboard, graphics card, and a USB card. So, and power supplies. We have two power supplies? We have two power supplies. We might be able to do something with those. Know. Maybe do it properly this time. Sorry, pretty Austin. pretty comfortable with working with that 12 volt lead. <laughs> when I saw the computers that were fully built, that was kind of insane. Um, I really didn't expect they were gonna give us that. I don't know if it'll help us at all in the end, um, but it might, so. We may have scored a sign, uh, or not, I don't know. Just don't ask questions, Ed. Did you notice the guy said Edsel right when we walked in? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was like... I was like, what the I thought that was... What the <laughs> maybe so are. did I, yeah. I thought it was the other employee's name. Boy. Awesome. It was on the ground. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Ed. I'm not too worried about not having a GPU or uh, SSD today because we can get that. But if we have the rest of the base system, we can start working and uh, start focusing in on some of the aesthetics. Okay, so basically the situation is that we're finding ourselves not having enough time today to turn things around quickly enough. Right, but we kind of saw you guys mixing paint. I'm sorry? We kind of saw you guys mixing paint and doing some work. Mixing paint? Yeah. We actually, no, 100%, we have, we did not mix any paint. I saw Bob hanging out in Linus's workshop, shaking some paint cans. You mean shaking a paint can? What does that have to do with anything? He was getting ready. I don't, I don't, I don't think we should get extra time. Things happened, we gotta fight our way through it. Oh, I see how this is gonna be. No, 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 I wasn't shaking, no, I wasn't mixing any paint at all. I was shaking a paint bottle, just goofing around, but not actually, that's not even what we're using. That's of no consequence to me. We weren't doing any work whatsoever. Wow, all right, all right, well, I, I, I see how this is gonna be. I see how this is gonna be then. So, so basically my proposal, since we were supposed to have a full day today, is that we should be allowed to have the time that we didn't have this morning. And we can use it either today or tomorrow or the morning of Thursday. So that way, depending on how scheduling works out, people can come in early, they can stay late or whatever, but we can get that hour and a half back. So uh, I, I'm, le I'm letting you make the call here. I'm letting you make the call because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my best I'm gonna put my best competitive system forward either way, but it would it would help us a lot to have the time that we didn't have, and I, it would probably help you guys too if you're being honest. What do you want? What do you think? I'm good either way. I don't want them to put up a second-rate system, so sure. I, I guess we'll give it to you. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think they really need that time and we probably don't need it as much, but who knows? Sometimes you do end up super you, needing the time. We might know, have trouble with something. When we start cutting windows and all that fabrication work, it's gonna take some time and it depends where we, I mean, you don't know until you're probably down to your last couple hours if you need that time or not. Yeah. I think I'm pretty scrappy and can make you know, know what sacrifices I can make time-wise. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's get that meeting lined up as soon as we can because in our R9 390 for 335, that's killer. <laughs> so the graphics card guy lives in Surrey, which is really close to the office. So we're gonna try to go to the office for 530 and hang around for a little bit to not use any of our extra time or use as little as possible. And then we're going to go meet up with him really quickly and then come back. So we can use maybe like 20, 25 minutes, hopefully, or maybe 30 minutes of our extra time, then still have an hour for later on and have our GPU. Hopefully the rest of the day today, we can get an acrylic thing for our side panel that we wanna make. Uh, we can hopefully get the system and if everything goes well, SSD and power supply as well. Right. 
So we're at Home Depot, we're trying to kill some time so that some guys can actually message us back. And we're gonna see if we can get a clear acrylic panel for the window. So we went to a hardware store. We're not really allowed filming in said particular hardware store. Uh, we got an acrylic or plexiglass panel thing, which should look pretty cool. And then we got some interesting paints. So um, graphics card, we're picking it up later on, but the system is a worry. And the frustrating thing is so much hinges on that because it's so many components in one purchase. And last Scrapyard Wars, I had a similar thing happen, which is actually why I ended up having to go to Free Geek, where I had a system lined up and then the guy just disappeared off the face of the planet and I had to end up going to Free Geek. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because I don't really want Scrapyard Wars to turn into Free Geek is obviously the best thing to do all the time forever, even though it kind of is because it's just kind of boring. So hopefully we get this system. Hold on. Oh shoot, pop it again. <laughs> Leaning up against the bush there was a port of a like mid 90s Ford tailgate. I think it might be aluminum. It's pretty soft. It's a chunk of sheet metal. And if we use sheet metal, we only need 18, 20 inches. So I grabbed it and folded it in half, kind of, and shoved it in the trunk. And now it fits? Now it fits. <laughs> so we went to Canadian Tire, got some tiki torches, got some uh, tiki torch oil and some propane for our other fire stuff. We got a whole bunch of fire things. We also got 10 cents in Canadian Tire money. Yes, we're set now. It's Maybe we can upgrade our SSD with some Canadian Tire money. Seriously, it's probably worth like twice as much as normal Canadian money. So there you go. So we have our two chassis that we got for free. And instead of using the chassis that hopefully we're going to get with the system, we could use the two chassis. And the advantage of that is we could cut a chassis and decide if something works or doesn't work. And we have a second chassis that's identical that we could just move side panels back and forth with or um, cannibalize parts from it. Our build is going to incorporate fire. Oh, weird. I don't really get how this one works. Make sure it's fully off. It was not. There we go. Centerpiece. Safety warnings, but no how to's. Which, you know, if they tell you how to use it, would probably Perfect. be a form of safety. There you go. Oh. Oh my god. Our fire elements are actually going very well. Uh, I'm not too worried about the fire elements at all. Uh, we might add more, if anything, to be completely honest. That is so sick. That's this one's like punctured. Punctured? I don't know if it actually has a hole, but it's like, it was, sorry, impacted, not punctured. How big was that flame though? Is that gonna do it again? Yeah, but it worked. Generate a lot of smoke. Oh, you gotta go back that. <laughs> That's not exactly what meant was supposed to happen there. That was the whole wick on fire. Yeah. There we go. Sure enough. Yeah. The last thing is, it's still a standard HD chassis. This is too wide, actually. have to look at the positioning of the piston and so we've got the fire we don't want to block the fire completely so I want to be a little bit offset flame on I think that's gonna be pretty sick that's awesome so we're ready to call him back um, we're a little late okay. actually yeah it's 225 um, can I have your phone or, or wait no you called him with Brandon's phone okay Brandon can I have your you're not gonna like this text what <laughs> 
Hey, got a reply from the other guy. He says he's willing to pay the full 400. So I'm gonna have to take his offer, sorry. What? Whoa, hold on, no, we just won the lottery. How freaking badass is that? Did he ever confirm that? No, but that's what he's getting is 40 bucks.